학교 갔다 왔어? Still don't know the voice actors. <laughs> Mainly because I haven't turned voices on because they're all in Korean, as I've probably mentioned before. But hey guys, welcome to Nameless, the one thing you must recall. Uh, I think we're still trying to get through all of the choices that I have to make in order to get Yeon's route, Yeonho's route. I keep wanting to call him Ye Yeon, but that's not his full name. <laughs> and uh, I think that's what we're still trying to do. And then um, after I've gotten through the part that I got a bad end on, um, I think that... Like, uh, that's where I'll start trying to figure it out by myself. Um, now that I seem to know how the choices are based, I'm pretty sure I can figure it out without too much trouble. Um, that's kind of the plus side when it comes to chariots. They make it relatively easy to make your choices, but when it comes to the bad endings, they kind of... Uh, it's... how do I explain it? If you're not fully dedicated to the one that you're going after, uh, you get bad endings really quickly, and that's usually for, like, if someone who's like me, who's blind playing it, never played it before, doesn't really know how the mechanics work, blah blah blah, so then you're starting to get some pieces put together when it comes to the bad endings. And, personally, I would like to try and avoid the bad endings because I'm not a fan, as we have gone through when it comes to an octave higher. <laughs> Still have to get a fucking satisfying ending on that. Kind of mad. <laughs> still kind of, still kind of bitter. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna start, I guess. Okay, so we got to the part where we have a limo. That's, that's right, that's where I left off is when we got into the limo. I'm surprised I remember that. <laughs> it's, but yeah, okay, let's, let's start. Since the commander got off, it's my turn now. Don't rush. Princess, you don't mind the cherry boy and just get off when you want to, since you can't get hurt. Master, see you at the classroom. Yunho said bye to me with his twinkling eyes. Every time one of the boys gets off, I can hear girls screaming. Ah, Tay, look over here! Seeing the crowd, I feel like I'm looking at movie stars getting on the red carpet. Of course, this is so not a red carpet event. It's just people going to school, a normal thing that happens every day. Why isn't this chick coming out? The number of screaming girls grew, and they started to form a massive crowd around the limousine. And among those girls, a lot of them were looking for Yunho. Yunho wasn't getting off the car, even after saying bye to me. Um, Master, I'd like to stay here with you longer, but you'd be in trouble if I do that, right? Yeah... Th then see you at the classroom. Yunho looked disappointed, but as soon as he opened the door and went out, the girls started screaming crazily. See, anytime they say chick, I'm like, are you talking about the main character? And then it's like, wait, no, they're talking- that's- that's Yunho's nickname because he looks like a chick. Like a little baby chick. Right. Because I'm just so used to having that word associated with women rather than an animal. That's what our society has come to. But I have no idea why half of those girls aren't wearing our school uniform. After Yuri, Yunho, Red, and Tae got off the car, I was alone. Right, Lance left early for school because of his discipline duties. When the four boys entered the school gate, the noisy crowd naturally disappeared along with them. I took the chance and quietly got off the car. It should be get out of the car! It's bugging me. It's bugging me. I could fix it, but like... With, I could fix it by saying it differently, but I don't think of it. I just read. <laughs> I just, uh, phew. I can't make an objective decision yet on whether the bus or the limo is the safer way to go to school. If a crowd forms every day like today, it might be more dangerous than a packed bus. But it's definitely better than, but it's definitely better than, better that I'll never be late for school. It's definitely better that I'll never be late for school. Okay. My sentences aren't, my brain and words not correlating properly. God. I got off the car, brushed off my clothes, and headed- GOT OUT OF THE CAR! OUT! Not off! Oh my fucking god. Brushed off my clothes and headed to the gate. I was about to pass the gate when I saw a familiar face. It's Lance, who started his discipline guide duties. 
I took a glimpse at him for the last time and went through the gate amidst the girls. Here's the limousine, girl. Stop it. There were so many people today. It's a small cost for what you get to enjoy. Going to school with the cute boys on a limo every morning! You can't get luckier than that, and the Ice Prince is standing right there in front of the gate! Your eyes must be screaming with joy! A week before, when I first came to school in the limo, Zoe clung on to me and started interrogating me about everything. So I had to come up with whatever excuse I can like I did when they transferred to the school. I told her that Mr. Yuri was giving me a ride as a thank you for being a guide to for the Hot Five. That's what you told her? Really? Are, are you gonna say that every single time? You get out of the limo? Or are you just gonna keep making up thousands of other excuses as to why you're in the car? Like... Really? That doesn't sound believable to me at all. But, you know, whatever, people in Ultimate Games are fucking half-wits. So, whatever. I added that I couldn't refuse and that I only found out- found about- found out! Now- now there needs to be an out here! Oh my god. I only found out about the limo on the day I started taking it. I would never have been a- I- Oh, there's some words that are just missing in some of these sentences. And I don't think I noticed that until now because my brain was just putting it together automatically. Oh my god. I stayed up all night playing Pathfinder for, well, it's New Year's Day right now, so it's the first day of the New Year. Happy New Year! Even though it's going to be quite way past that by the time this video comes out. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I stayed up all night on New Year's Eve playing Pathfinder, so... Yeah. I did go to bed at 6.30 and slept until, like, noon. 30. So, like... 6 hours? I got 6 hours of sleep. <laughs> Doesn't feel like it did anything, though. And apparently it really didn't. Anyway. I would never be able to tell her the honest details. Oh wait, that doesn't make sense. What the fuck am I talking about? See what I mean?! <laughs> But I had no choice but to tell her that I was taking the limo. Well, no, even if I didn't tell her, she would have soon found out anyways, since there's such a big fuss. You look tired. Zoe said while sip- Zoe? That's not fucking Zoe, that's Shinbi. Shinbi said while sipping her strawberry milk with a straw. Yeah, a bit. It's natural that I feel tired after getting through the enormous crowd. I wasn't physically in a battle, but I just felt so exhausted. Tired? Why? You came to school with the hot five! That's exactly why she's tired. I told you, even you'd be tired after seeing a bunch of scary girls run at you in the morning. I'm thinking of talking to Mr. Yuri about me just taking the bus. Then can I take the limo instead of you? Your house is on the opposite side. It doesn't matter! I can just go early and wait. Do you think I'd care about time and money when I have the chance to ride that dream car? I think Zoe thinks of our house as a limousine stop. I left her to chatter on and took up and took out my smartphone. I didn't get any texts. Eee! It's so cute. Actually, I found out that you can open up your phone in here. So yeah, you can actually like text people and do stuff and look at the messages and whatever. Uh, so yeah, I don't think I mentioned that. I guess everyone's busy trying to make their way into the building since no one has contacted me yet. Yuri ended up getting smartphones for everyone. Thanks to that, we can contact each other without any trouble. As expected, Yunho is the one who texts me the most. Tay, Yuri, and Red only contact me when they have something to say. On the other hand, Lance doesn't text at all. Hey, give me your smartphone! You only seem to be calling and texting. That's such a waste of a phone! Why don't you get some apps? Apps? I often did add... I often did see apps for different- ads for different apps on TV and on magazines, but it was too much of a bother to search and install, so I've never tried using one. When Zoe was just about to take my phone, the bell rang. Oh, the bell rang. I'll install an app. I'll install a couple for you later. So this- so since this is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, when we assume that x is larger than zero, sense to me just saying this is all for today you all know that the exams are next month right don't procrastinate and start studying soon everyone was already tired from suffering through the difficult math class but the teacher burdened us more by talking about the exam as soon as the teacher finished talking everyone started booing 
Oh, right, yeah, there's exams in this game, and you have to do true or false stuff, and you have to get, like, 9 out of 10 in order to pass the exam, and if you don't pass the exam, you get a bad end or something. That was on the guide as well. Uh, and it's basically just true or false things about the game, so... We'll see how well I do with that! I'm gonna save. Bef just to be on the safe side, like, save every fucking five minutes. You can quick save before the exam, I think, and it's a good idea, because... Yeah, you might fail or pass, who knows. The teacher ignored the booze and walked out of the classroom. It was so difficult trying to stop myself from dozing off. Should I take a quick nap? Oh, right. I searched for my smartphone to check for texts at the, and the time. No texts so far. God, math is probably the most complicated field of study mankind has ever invented. I have to agree with that, along with chemistry, physics, and... Oh, what was it? Chemistry, physics? I think that was it. Yeah, chemistry and physics, and then whatever you have to use with chemistry and physics. Anything dealing with chemistry and physics and math are, like, the most complicated things I will never be able to understand, ever. And communication theory, apparently. Failed that course in my fall term. I agree. I'm definitely sure what the black things are letters and the white is the paper. What the hell am I supposed to do with these alien letters and numbers? I fidgeted with my smartphone and answered. I only know the basic functions of my phone, but I unconsciously hold on to it. Right? I'm not the only one who thinks that way, right? You are so my friend. Since I have you, I don't think I'll be alone in the exams. No thanks. I don't want to end up last in class with you. <laughs> oh my god. Come on! What are Fred's for if not to go to hell together? That's actually pretty true. Her single word has given me tickets to hell and being the last in school. Who was right in front of me? Ugh, how could you break up with me so easily? I knew Shinbi's the only one on my side. Ugh, help me! So we teared up and ran towards Shinbi. Ugh. Shinbi let out a sigh and stood up from her seat. Huh? Seeing her come towards this way, I put my smartphone on the desk. Hey. Yeah? I couldn't help get nervous and tremble a bit when she called me. It was so intimidating the way she looked down at me since I was sitting down and she was tall. I don't know if it's okay to say this about a girl, but she's so handsome. It is perfectly okay to say that to a girl as long as they identify as a gender or they just don't really care about what kind of compliments you give them as long as it's a compliment. Um, but... I think it's okay if you say it if they're agender, because I know for, uh, uh, at least for me anyway, I'm agender and I'm perfectly okay with that, so yeah. But just maybe ask first <laughs> if you want to say a compliment like that out loud, it's always a good idea just to be on the safe side. It's awkward for everyone involved because, you know, asking questions about those kinds of things that you don't want to just automatically assume is always going to be awkward, but it's always a good idea nonetheless, and then you get closer to people, and it's not really that bad after, so yeah. As long as they react nicely anyway. Most people do, as far as I know. Most people do. A group of girls were looking this way with rever revering eyes. <laughs> well, yeah, you hang out with the Hot Five. You already had Shinbi and Soe as friends. You're kind of targeted. Good, good, go Shinbi, show her what you've got. You've trained all this time by the waterfall. Waterfall? So we must be reading fantasy novels these days. The chick. Chick? He's crying. What? What does she mean, chick? Look over there. So he pointed some- Shinbi, it's Shinbi. Jesus. Shinbi pointed somewhere with her finger. I could see Yunho hugging onto his math book, looking as if tears were about to fall from his big eyes. He knows how to bring out the mother instinct from girls. Surrounding him were a bunch of kids, actually girls hiding their dark desires. For some reason, there seemed to be more girls around him today. I couldn't just stay still while he was crying, so I went towards him. Yunho, what's up with you? Why are you crying? Yeah, Yunho, why are you crying? Did, did someone hit you? I don't know what's going on, but my arms are free, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, so, uh, what's going on? Oh, uh, listen, so, why don't you tell me, or do you want to come to my house? Yeah, what the hell are you saying? Your house? Obvious much? Uh, what's obvious? Damn, hey, you guys move over. He's getting scared. Why are you guys intimidating him? Yunho, don't worry, I'll take care of everything for you. 
Yeah, yeah, a man shouldn't cry. Bullshit! Men are allowed to cry. Fuck that. Men are allowed to cry and feel emotions. It is perfectly fucking okay. Just saying. Of course, compared to those witches, you're way more pri- Ow, hey! Who threw this dictionary? Punishment for pervert! <laughs> what, what do you guys mean, pervert? I can't understand what the hell everyone's saying. They're speaking in human language, but I can't follow their conversation at all. All I could hear are the words pervert and house. For some reason, I'm more worried about the situation than Yunho crying. So I was just about to get through the crowd of those weird kids and approach Yunho. Suddenly, a familiar figure swooshed by me. Oh no, Yunho, you're crying, huh? What should we do about those beautiful tears? Who the hell made our yellow chick sad? Tell me, I'll take care of whoever it is. How dare they touch my property? Whoever that person is, bring it on! Oh, man. <laughs> Zoe really is an amazing person in several ways. Her eyes were glaring like those of a world champion. Everyone slowly started to back away and got further away from Zoe and Yunho. I went through the path Zoe parted and went beside Yunho. He stopped crying as I went over to him. And then he raised his wet eyes to look at me. Oh no, he's so cute. No. Fuck, he's too cute. He seemed as if there was something he wanted to say. Um. Since he looks cute while hesitating, ignore him? Really? That's like the worst. No. Like, I already knew to choose what's up because I looked up the cat named John chapter to make sure that I could get through it and get to the next one. Uh, but. That's obviously not the right way to go if you want to boo him. So, yeah, I'm gonna ask him what's up. That's fucking obvious. Jarrett's, what's wrong with you? You know, this, I, huh, math textbook? What about the math textbook? Zoe looked confused. On the other side, it, on the outside, it just looked like a normal textbook. I opened his book to find anything out of the ordinary. There was nothing strange. No, actually, there was nothing. It was clean. There wasn't a single thing written in the book. Huh? What's wrong? I flipped through the pages again. Even considering the fact that it hasn't been that long since the boys came to school, this was basically a new book. He didn't write any notes. I'm just... stupid. Uh, I had no idea what the teacher said. Nothing. Oh, Yunho must have had a hard time understanding math. I remember the time when I saw Lance and Tae do everything perfectly right after they turned human and felt embarrassed of myself. So I used to think to myself, I'm a useless person who can't even do what dolls can do. But I guess not all dolls are smart. I felt sympathetic to Yunho talking about how difficult math is for him. I even feel like we might be able to get closer with this similarity. Yep, I wasn't wrong about math being mankind's enemy. It was at the moment. It was at that moment. This math textbook is the villain! Ugh! So we snatched away Yunho's textbook and was violently trying to tear it up. Hey, wait, what are you doing? So we growled like a hunting dog and attacked the math book. She was going to shred it to pieces any moment now. I'm going to destroy it! This thing made Yunho cry! I wish I had a buzzer to tell her she's wrong. How could she be so wrong? It's ridiculous. Don't take it out on the textbook. It's not the book, it's math itself. I raised my hand to stop what Zoe was doing. I feel... I feel sorry for the book. Zoe suddenly stopped her actions at what Yunho quietly yelled out, and everyone was completely silent for a moment. After the three seconds it took for Zoe to switch her personality, she calmly put down the textbook on the desk. Hmm, anyways, so the yellow chick is saying that math is too difficult, right? Uh, is it because I'm just stupid? Yunho, don't say that. That's so not it. Math is really hard for me too. Yeah, you can't l You can live a completely normal life without knowing anything about math. I still mix up my sums and differences. Uh, well, you can't go completely without knowing anything about math. You need to at least know basic adding and subtracting and some basic multiplication and basic division. Like, that you at least need to know. And, like, I know we have calculators literally every fucking where we go, but, like, yeah, no, you can't go completely without it. So we completely degraded herself and made a sweet smile. Anyways, you know, it's fine. Math is supposed to be hard. You don't have to worry too much. Oh no, he's crying. Uh, oh, okay, even Lance, who's super smart, won't know everything. The class today was especially hard. But really? It's hard even for Lance? 
It's hard for everyone, so cheer up. Yunho's expression grew brighter. Ugh, <sighs> thank god. Yunho finally stopped crying. Wow, amazing! You're so awesome, Lance! He already solved every problems in the textbook. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, what a spectacular timing. I broke out in a cold sweat at what the kids were saying behind me. Wow, Lance, is the- Oh, wait, it's a guy. Wow, Lance, is there anything you can't do? Lance, you're so cool! Look at how he solved them. How could he be so precise? Come to think of it, when the teacher asked him a question earlier, he answered without hesitating. He was so cool. You said you lived abroad, right? Were you in the gifted class or something? I glimpsed and saw that he had written down the solutions and answers to every problem. The exact opposite from Yunho's textbook. Hearing everyone exclaim, Lance replied in his usual expressionless face. There is no reason to be complimented for this. Since math is a simple study where all you have to do is apply the formula to get an answer. He must now know how superior he is and said indifferently. There will be students who feel despaired after hearing that. I'm worried. Especially the boy with yellow hair who is trembling right beside me. Lance stood up from his seat and he blew his final punch. So if you can't solve this easy thing, it must mean you're stupid. <gasps> no! I just finished cheering him up! Lance left the classroom, leaving those final words. Everyone turned ghostly pale after hearing what he said. G guys you all know Lance didn't mean that, right? <laughs> Such a joker! <laughs> I was the only one breaking out in cold sweat in this frozen atmosphere. This is all Lance's fault. He should at least give us a warning before dropping a bomb! Everyone stayed silent for a while. I was about to have the illusion that I'm seeing penguins in this icy atmosphere when... Oh my god, so cool! What? Wow, did you see how he looked at us as if we were insects? No wonder he's called the Ice Prince! Wh what? I know, right? I wish he'd stare at me like that once. I think everyone's got mad at Lance's a I think everyone's gone mad at Lance's attack. If not, there's no reason they'd be infatuated with Lance looking at them that way. I'm wrong to think that everyone's getting better at distorting reality, right? I see. I heard Yunho's teary voice by my side. Ugh. I knew it. I'm just stupid. It was Yunho and not the girls who was devastated by Lance's punch. I forgot that Yunho is still innocent, unlike them. Ah, uh, how do I take care of this? I don't think that's true. Shinbi suddenly appeared out of nowhere. There's a great ancient saying. Ancient saying? Yeah. What does she mean, saying? What is it? Happiness is not measured by grades. I thought for a while on whether that was a great saying. A couple girls blushed and agreed with Shinbi. Hey, that's such a good saying! I don't know who said it, but nicely put! Yunho's teary eyes slowly cleared up. Happiness is not measured by grades. There's no guarantee that you'd be happy by being good at math. You can be happy with a lot of other things. Math is still unexplored territory for me too. No, is it more like a black hole? Right, right, Shinbi's really bad at math. I barely stopped myself from telling Soe that she didn't need to add the last part. A any, anyways, uh, Yunho, there must be some other subject that you're good at, and you can always study for math. Yeah, Yunho, we'll help you study. I'm not confident about math, but I can help you with English. Will I be okay after studying? Of course, of course. To be honest, considering my own experiences, there are some things you just can't do after studying. Agreed! Yeah, doesn't matter how many times you study communication theories, you just still don't fucking get it. But I had to make white li but I had to make a white lie so that Yunho can cheer up. Then I'll try my best and study. You you'll help me, right? Yunho quickly che Yunho quickly cheered up and looked at everyone with sparkling eyes. I'll teach you, I will. I raise my hand first, Yunho, you trust me, right? Trust me! What are you guys talking about? Trust me, Yunho. Uh wait! An enormous barricade formed around Yunho just like before. Naturally I was pushed to the back by that huge wave. Uh um Yunho saw me get pushed back by everyone and shouted towards me, but our voices were buried under the overly excited kids. Ugh, I doubt I'd be able to get through this crowd. Yunho tried his best to eye me through the crowd and silently screamed for help, but I was too scared to get through this horrendous wall and go to him. Besides, if it's about math, there was no way I could help anyways. 
I was worried to my I was worried myself on how I'd be able to help him with his studies, but seeing the situation, I don't really think I need to step up and help him. I can only pray that there is someone over there who will only help him with his studies. I felt like I'd soon get pushed around if I stay around those aggressive kids any longer, so I backed away a bit. I felt like there was more distance between us other than the wall in front of my eyes. He always used to be by my side, but I can't hog him to myself. I should respect his privacy. Yunho used to always be by my side. He was so cute and adorable the way he followed me like he was a chick following a hen. But it's true that on one side, that worried me a bit. But now so many people at school like him, and Yoon-ho gets along really well with them. So it's better for Yoon-ho for me... But it's better for Yoon-ho to push me away sometimes, like now. I waved towards Yoon-ho, who was still looking at me from afar. Mm, I, guess I feel a bit down for some reason. I should just go out and get some fresh air. I turned away from Yunho, who was still surrounded by everyone, and left the classroom. No wonder I'm good at watching horror movies. I see real zombies every day. Zombies here, zombies there, everywhere I go, zombies. I muttered while staring at the zombies in uniforms that have taken over the cafeteria. My stomach screamed for food, but I wasn't confident enough to jump on into the pack of zombies. It might have been easier if Soe and Shinbi were here. But Soe dragged Shinbi out to run around the playground, saying she's on a diet or something. So I ended up bringing a sandwich I bought from the convenience store this morning and found an empty seat. I don't know if it'll be enough, but this will have to do. Oh well. I was about to sit in my seat when I saw a familiar figure far away. Well, so many party guards as usual. I was pretty far away, but I could easily find Yunho. He was surrounded by a bunch of girls just as he was in class. He probably stays like that in the academy until he goes home. I felt distant for some reason. Should I go talk to him? But I already gave up going to the cafeteria and that was going to be worse. I felt a bit bitter, but I decided to think of it as a positive thing since it wasn't anything bad for Yunho. It's good to be popular, I guess. I turned away from Yunho. I should just get out and take a nap. I quietly got out of the packed cafeteria. Uh, she's gone. Yunho, what's wrong? Why did you stop eating? Does it taste bad? Did it go bad? Who is it? Who gave him his this bread? You're dead. If Yunho gets sick, I'll chase you to the end and find it, the end of hell and find you. Um, calm down. I'm fine. I'm just. It's nothing. I'm sorry for worrying you guys. What do you mean worry? It's nothing. Yeah, Yunho. If anything happens, I'll hug. I mean, I'll talk you through it. Cheer up. Is it hard for her to come because there are a lot of people around me? Huh? Aww, Yunho misses my company. <sighs> over. Classes are over for today. I was tired all day for no reason, so I just plopped down on my desk. God, I'm tired. Friend, give it to me. So he came to me and shook me up. I reluctantly got up. What? Oh, my smartphone? I took out my smartphone from my bag and handed it to Zoe. The device was still strange to me since I was used to my old one. Even while Stan... Blah, 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 blah. Even while handing it to Zoe, it felt like it didn't belong to me. Huh? It's locked. It's the same password as your old one, right? Zoe habitually unlocked my phone. She used to play around with my phone even before I got the new one. The reason she... W the reason she... The reason was she wanted to be ranked number one on a classical old game that only old phones have. So I just told her my passcode since I couldn't be bothered to unlock it for her every time. I don't have to hide anything, so it'll be fine. I didn't have pictures of the dolls in my phone just in case. If someone sees it, I'll be in big trouble. Tell me the passcode! Oh, is it that? Yes! Got it! You always have the same passwords. I'll get confused if I have a lot of different ones. If you don't have the same password for your bank account... Oh, wait. You don't have the same password for your bank account, do you? If your money gets stolen someday, I'll probably be responsible for it. Yeah, I'll make sure to report you. They say that most crimes are traced back to your acquaintances. Zoe and I joked around, talking nonsense. Meanwhile, Zoe must have started downloading some things. I saw a bunch of download signs on my phone. Good, let's see. This and that. And Coconut Talk and Twinter, too. Twinter? That's totally Twitter. Totally. I don't know about Coconut Talk, though. I'm not sure about that. Okay, now it's ready. Oh, already? You're so fast. I was surprised at Zoe's fast hands. I would have barely typed my text during the time Zoe downloaded all those apps. 
I got my phone back with several new functions. This is nothing. Coconut talk is like text. Oh, but it's all free. You can send texts for free? What a world. How do the service carriers stay in business? I downloaded something called Twinter, too. What's that? Zoe must know a lot of cool apps. Since, unlike me, she's been using a smartphone for a long time. It's an app where you can read all the things people you follow babble about. What does that mean? If you write what you want to say here, your registered friends can read them. Huh? So I can read what my friends say, and my friends can read what I say. You can follow people you actually know, but you can also add people who have the same hobby as you. It's all in your control. Anyone can add you as a friend if they know your ID. Oh. Hmm. I understood a bit after Shinbi's explanation. You got it? It'll be strange at first, but when you get used to it, it's really useful. There are a lot of people I talk to only on Twitter. I've never actually met them. You notice a lot of funny things when you talk to people you don't actually know. Zoe looks proud. I've added Shinbi and I are an eye already, so if I write anything, you'll be able to see it too. Um, we raised our hands at... Oh, we raised our heads at the sudden soft voice. Can I join the conversation? Oh, it's Yunho. The girls that usually surround Yunho are packed... Are packing their bags and getting ready to go home. He must have took the chance and escaped. Oh, my cute chick! Finally, you're here! Isn't it tough to be with all those girls? <laughs> Yunho laughed tiredly. He must have really suffered. You look tired. Are you heading home soon? I thought maybe I should make him a warm cup of tea when I get home. Yes, but what about the smartphone? Yunho looked at my smartphone in Zoe's hands. Oh, this kid here, she didn't know how to use a smartphone properly, so I was kindly downloading some apps for her. I was just telling her about Twinter. Twinter? What's that? At Yunho's words, Zoe looked like she'd been punched in the face and stared at Yunho and me. I haven't traveled back in time, have I? Yunho, you don't know what Twinter is? No. I thought this app was famous around the world. Shinbi looked surprised that Yunho didn't know what it is. Ah, uh, no. Don't be curious why he doesn't know so much. <laughs> Yunho grew up in a cornfield in the middle of nowhere. A cornfield? Yeah, he grew up harvesting corn. He's not familiar with electronics and all that. I made up the story, imagining Yunho blowing a reed pipe in a field of fresh corns. Corn. Nowhere. So he mutters. Corn? Corn? So his eyes widened as if she just reached Nirvana. Awesome! So you made cornflakes? No. Corn? Flakes? Zoe, how could you be so off? I saw Lance sitting next to us, listening to our conversation and smirking. Zoe didn't see it, so let's ignore it. You wouldn't have had the chance to use smartphones since you were busy making cornflakes. Making cornflakes with those soft hands. Zoe, it's rude to talk as if corns are only used to make cornflakes. There are so many things you can make with corn. I thought of corn butter. Yunho, are you going home? The girl who was always by Yunho's side called him in front of the door. Oh, you go ahead first. Alright, see you tomorrow. The girl looked at us and went off looking a bit disappointed. I looked around and saw that everyone had went home except us. That girl was the last of his followers. He's really popular. People can't approach Lance since he's so cold, but Yunho's really... Good! All your followers have gone home. Since I have you all to myself, let me tell you about the greatness of Twinter, and we can all be Twinter friends. Really? Yunho suddenly exclaimed like a kid. Then will you teach me how to use it? Oh wait, that's Yunho. <laughs> Fuck. Then will you teach me how to use it? Yunho must have wanted to use Twinter. Of course, I'll teach you. Yunho took out his smartphone from his pocket. With Zoe's help, he started downloading something. Wow, this is so cool. I've already added Shinbi and I. I can see your posts in real time. His eyes sparkled looking at the phone. It was cute. He was scrolling down the screen, muttering the posts he's reading. I'm glad he found something he likes other than video chatting. Shinbi, you've posted this morning, I want strawberry milk. And Silly, you've posted, currently selling eye candy pictures of the hot five? What? Silly, when... When did you take the photos? She would never have taken them with permission. I looked at Zoe and she winked. Special discount for friends! What's eye candy? Is it candy that improves your eyesight? Yunho's talking like a true doll. No, uh, it's... I hesitated. I know it's not a good idea to explain right now. It's fine! It's... F oh. <laughs> Heck, I'm mixing up everyone. It, it, it's fine if it's hard to explain. He must have read my expression. 
But actually, um, yeah? Can you add me on Twitter? Me? Of course. I think you have to enter your ID here. Yunho gave me a smartphone. Let's see. I entered my ID in Yunho's smartphone. All you need is one tap and we're friends. So simple. Now that we're friends, we can read each other's posts, right? Yunho looked at me bashfully. Oh, he's so cute! Ah! He was cute the way he had a tiny smile. I'm so happy. I'll be writing very often. <laughs> is he that happy to be Twitter friends with me? Okay. He didn't have to be so shy about it. Uh, I feel like getting my shy myself. Alright, chick, I'll post often too. So he could in the somewhat awkward atmosphere. I think the chick was talking to her. I look forward to being Twitter friends with you. Yunho said while bowing to Soe and Shinbi. He was cute the way he acted like an elementary student. Then should we go now? Or maybe we should go to Banjul and look at eye candy? I have to go to work soon. Oh, then me too. I was about to grab my bag when a small hand grabbed it first. Yunho? Why are you holding on to my bag? Um... Oh, chick, you got something to say? We should go home first. At so as always, uh, blah, 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 Zoe. Her name's not Zoe. As Zoe's eyes sparkled, Shinbi grabbed her shoulders. What? Well, I have to hurry. Oh, all right then. We'll be off first. Zoe looked at me as if she didn't care. Oh, okay. I nodded and waved. Zoe and Shinbi left, and the room turned quiet. Yunho, do you have something to say? Yunho hesitated and carefully started talking. There are too many people during lunch, right? Huh? Why is he suddenly talking about lunchtime? Oh, uh, since the cafeteria is always crowded at lunch, we can barely eat properly. Yeah, I feel like there are more people nowadays. To be more exact, there are more people ever since the Hot Five transferred here. I'm thinking of eating in the classroom since it's empty. Really? Yunho's eyes widened. Yeah, the cafeteria is always packed. I'm thinking of buying a packed lunch from the convenience store in the morning. I think of the hellish cafeteria during lunch. Having to go through that every day... No thanks. Packed lunch? Convenience store? Yeah, they have packed lunches at convenience stores. They aren't the best, but they're okay. Oh. Why, you want them too? If Master's having them, then yes. Since it was just the two of us in the classroom, he started calling me Master again. Shh, we're still in the academy, so don't call me Master. Oh, I'm sorry. But you don't need packed lunches, do you? Girls around you always get you food. That's true, but... It must be nice to have so many friends. I think of Yunho at the cafeteria, and the girls surrounding him. Unlike him, Lance is always surrounded by silence. It's good to eat with friends. I said, thinking Yunho's situation is at least better than Lance's. For me, well, I don't like being surrounded by people, so I like to eat alone. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm just going to bring my lunch and eat it qui quickly by myself in the classroom from now on. Since it's more comfortable to eat alone. Oh... <laughs> I don't understand what I'm saying! I'm making him feel sad because he wants to eat with me, but uh, he's always surrounded by people and that makes it so that he can't eat with me and... Oh uh, no! I see. Yunho looked disheartened. Huh? But Yunho, did you stop talk? Did you stop me to talk about lunch? Oh, uh... Yunho avoided my eyes. What's wrong with him? Oh, it's already getting dark. Yeah, it is. Then should we... I was about to say we should go home when the classroom door opened. Yunho! At the sudden girl's voice, Yunho and I turned our heads to the door. We saw two girls with their bags by the door. Oh, he's still here. I told you he didn't go yet. Alright, alright. Anyways, Yunho, would you like to go to the ice cream store right now? Oh, um... Yunho looks at me. Huh? Why is he looking at me? What should I do? Should I go? Yunho whispered to me. Is he actually asking for permission right now? Oh. Uh, what should I say? I guess I'm supposed to say have fun with your friends. So, I'm gonna do that. Have fun with your friends. Since he goes to school now, it's good to have fun while he can. Um, call me if you're going to be late. I said while smiling. I'm glad Yunho has friends. I'm completely misunderstanding the entire situation. Ugh. And I can't even fix it. Even though I know I am misinterpreting it. Because the guide is 
to get through this chapter is like, nah, bruh, no. No, 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 no. You have to tell him to go hang out with his friends, you know, because, yeah, that's how this is supposed to go. And it's like, oh, fuck, why? <sighs> okay. Yunho, are you going? I'm buying today. As the girl hurried him, Yunho looked at her. Oh, uh, yes. He replied to her and looked at me. I'll post on Twitter, so read it. You have to, all right? He grinned and whispered cutely. <laughs> so cute. I get why you're so popular. Then I'll be off first. Yunho waved at me. So cute! I felt a bit lonely watching Yunho disappear with the other girls. And that's where I'm going to end it for now. Um, I don't know... I don't know where this is gonna be going. I'm trying to think of it in, like, where anime would probably take it, because there's so many stereotypes and cliches that happen fucking constantly, so I can probably predict it, for the most part, but I'm not sure. I kind of want to give it the benefit of the doubt, for the most part, and I just realized, but this fence piece is off. Like, this one looks fine, but, like, and that's the gate, and that's the gate, but then this fence piece... Why doesn't it reach it all the way across, and why is it open, like, the gate? Is it in another gate? I don't- I, I, I don't know. Um, yeah. but let's check the phone. Is there anything we can do on it? No? Okay, um... Status? You know, it doesn't seem to have changed at all. Um... Diary? Um... I had a dream we were playing some sort of game where Yunho, Yuri, and Lance were in one circle and Tain Red were standing separately far away. Yuri smiled and stepped out of the circle. What does that mean? <gasps> oh, I wonder if that's linked to to the to the game. Cause you Yunho Yunho, Yuri, and Lance are in one circle. Tain Red standing separately far away. Tain Red, you can't have anything to do with for endings until so you go through at least one with Yunho, Yuri, and Lance. But Yuri smiles and steps out of the circle. So I think Yuri realizes that he can't win me over because I've already chosen someone else. Which is why he steps out. I think that's what that's indicating at, unless I'm looking too far into it, but yeah. So... I guess he does have respectable traits. Who would have thought? Anyway, I guess we'll find out what happens next time. I'll see you in the next one. Later.